This is Rogue Wing, Coraline, or Helen R.D. over a Starship Modeler. Welcome to the workshop. Okay, at this point, decaling's pretty much done. I got a couple of them that I'm still letting dry before I hit them with the decal set to make sure they suck down completely. But at this point, the USS Odysseus is pretty much ready for final assembly, while the ISS Odysseus needs a little damage tweaking to it so that we can then get it ready for final assembly. All right. Starting with the USS, I went in and put the squares here back into this sequence of hatches in the bottom and then I added the side banners which don't really show up all that well and yeah, it shows up better on this side got the the decals for the main gangway didn't work out well so I went ahead and used the shuttle port decals I've also got the shuttle port decals on either side of the bridge module. Add that, add to that rather, the registry numbers. And the USS Odysseus basically needs another coat of sealer. And then I'll put the uh, put that one to rest. Start working on the base. The ISS, of course, got a little more flamboyant decals. Same deal here. You've got the uh, shuttle port instead of the gangway hatch. Got the imperial banners. I don't know how well you can see it in here, but I've replaced the Enterprise arrow, the Starfleet arrowheads with the sword in the earth emblems. In addition to the registry numbers. I've also added these decorative pennants based off the uh, NX-01 what we saw with her. Got the Sword and Earth emblems as, on them as well as on the bow of the saucer. I also went ahead and decided to make one more touch here by putting it across the top of the uh, nacelle pods. At this point, I've got some battle damage to do on the ISS Odysseus, figuring that the Klingons would have just repaired what needed to be fixed and would look at anything that wasn't, I don't know, essential as honorable battle scars and we would have left it alone. But we are definitely getting there. 